Hi everybody. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of exercises um, that I think would be great if you did them every morning. They would help with your mobility, um, help in getting out of bed, um, and if you've already gotten out of the bed for other reasons, maybe you want to get back on the bed um, to do these exercises, or um, if you are comfortable getting up and down off the floor, you could do it on the floor as I'm doing um, on the yoga mat back here. Um, if you do choose the floor option, um, have a chair hand, handy just in case you might need it for help getting up. So, <clears throat> so imagining maybe that you are in the bed, right? And you're lying flat on your, your back. I think most of you probably sleep either flat on your back or, or on your side. So you find your way to your uh, back and the first thing you're going to do is just take a big full stretch, right? Out through the heels, really stretching, flexing the feet and out through your fingertips. Here's a full breath, right? And then you're going to walk, uh, walk your feet uh, in for a moment. Let your, your hands, you can either rest down or, or out to the sides. And you're going to walk your feet up um, as much as you can on your, your um, blanket or bed. <clears throat> And then you're going to push into your feet, lifting your hips up, up off your bed. Right. So try and keep your ankles, your knees in line, like one on top of the other. But if you can't, that's still that's still all right. Just um, push up and hold here for a few uh, seconds, and then roll yourself back down again. And you're going to do a, a, at least five of those. You could do five or, or eight repetitions or two repetitions of five. See how you feel. So again, you're just rolling up, you're pushing into the floor, you're engaging your belly, your butt, right? You're pushing really into your whole feet, up both of the feet, and then rolling back down again. <clears throat> Good. So again, you're pushing up, yeah, as much as you can, yeah. and then rolling back down again. And again, engage your your pelvis, right? Your belly, you roll it up. You push into the floor as much as you can or the bed. <clears throat> and you raise those hips up, trying not to let your knees wobble out to the side. And then rolling back down again. We're just going to do one more for the purpose of the video, like rolling up, right? <clears throat> and rolling back down. Great. And then you're going to release your legs off the floor, right off the floor or, or bed, and you're going to give your calves a, a little bit of a bang here, right? So you're, you're kind of paddling your feet, kind of massaging the backs of your calves. Yep. Good. And then hug your knees in. And for this, you can either keep your back flat on the mat or you can, you can pull it slightly so your back round. So whatever feels uh, good for you in the morning, right? And then you're going to move your knees in a circle. So you're holding your knees and you're moving your hips around in a circle. All right, so kind of just warming up each hip. And you just go a few uh, in one direction and then you can reverse the direction going a few in the opposite direction. Good. And then hug those knees back in towards your chest and keep one knee in and stretch your opposite leg out. So really put some energy into that opposite leg and draw the other one up towards your shoulder and then switch it out. So you take the other one in and the other one out. Again, flex your foot, but stretching out and really get that knee in. And you keep alternating one knee right, and then the other knee one and again you do one knee take your time with this right because uh hopefully if you're doing this in the morning you want to take your time yeah and another stretch right good we just do it a couple more times one way and the other way And then stretch both feet out, and we've done this uh, in one of the other videos. You're going to draw the alphabet with your feet. And 
well, I knew the alphabet uh, because of the time it takes to do it, right? So basically you wanna move your feet for that amount of time. But if you do the alphabet, A, B, C, D, and I kind of do it kind of dyslexic, E, F, G, H, right? I, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, I should be singing, U, you could be singing, V, W, X, Y, and Z, to actually that would get your voice going too if you sang the alphabet, <clears throat> right? Okay, so once you've got your feet all going there, you could also do a few rolls with your wrist and hands, right? So just to get them uh, warmed up a little bit, wrists and hands, first on our feet, then our wrists and hands. Good. Um, and then we're gonna come to the side. Okay, I'm gonna sh show you this exercise first. Coming to the side can be very difficult um, for most people with Parkinson's. So <clears throat> actually before we, <laughs> before we come to the side, we're gonna open our arms out yeah, our, feet, our knees are bent, and we're just gonna let our knees go to one side, and then really using those muscles, bring them back in and let them go to the other side. Right. So it's just starting to get a little bit of a twist going first. So bringing them up, the knees and one side, and bringing them back and to the other side. So again, you're going kind of gentle with this, right? but using your side muscles, your stomach muscles, going back and forth, right? Just to start to begin to bring that twist right into your spine. If you feel tight, maybe on one side or the other, you could stay for a little bit. So yeah, staying either on one side or the other. Good, so now that you've got that little bit of twist in your vocabulary, we're gonna try to <clears throat> um, bring the hand, the one hand over towards uh, the other side. So we're twisting now in the upper body. So you're gonna take your, your right hand, right? Breathing in and you're gonna fold it over all the way to your left, right? So you're trying to keep your, your um, your feet planted, your back down, but your hip doesn't need to stay down, right? So you're going all the way over, and then you're coming back, and you're gonna do that five times, right? One, two, and you really give it a little breath and uh, motivation, right? Breathing in, and you breathe up. Three, you're really trying to touch that hand. Good, four. Good. And five, right? So you've really, uh, really given it a push. You try it the opposite way, right? With your left hand trying to meet over to your right. One, right? So really like you're scooping something off. Give it more energy than you think. Two, okay. and three, okay. and four. And five. Good. And now we're going to try it getting up a little bit, right? We're not going to get up all the way, but we're going to get up partially. But to do that, uh, you use the same motion with the right arm, right? But the left arm has to be tucked. So when you get ready to go, the sequence of it, which is a little challenging, right, is you tuck. Like think tuck, tuck that left arm, tuck, and then do that same motion we just did, right? So tuck in. Yeah. So just get that part of it going, tuck in, right? Or go the whole way, tuck in, and push part way up and come back. Yeah, so tuck in, sweep, push, back down. Left 
Again, tucks in, the elbow tucks, sweep, push, and open out. We'll try that one more time. Tuck, sweep, push. And once you've pushed, right, you can get the other hand under you. Maybe you come up a little. So we'll try that on the uh, other side. Um, so you can see it from the back, I guess, right? So again, you're, you're wide. And if you go in the other way, you're tucking this uh, right elbow. So tuck, sweep. Back open up, tuck the arm, sweep. Back open out. We'll try it getting up, right? So tuck the arm, sweep, push. And come back down. Second, I'm moving here. Tuck, sweep, push. And come back. Time you might go all the way, right? Tuck, sweep, push, get that other hand under you. Yeah, awesome. And down. All right. So if you're in your bed um, and having trouble getting out of bed and getting that your body over and that twisting motion, then especially these exercises we just did at the end with the knees twisting. And your practice of, of the arms, uh, the arm sweeping, and again your practice of the tuck and the sweep, right? So if you're on the bed, you would tuck, sweep, let your legs fall off the side of the bed so they'd be dropping down in the cushion. All right, I hope that was um, a little helpful for some exercises just to do lying down um, in your bed or lying on the floor. Um, and have a great day, right? See you soon, I hope.